Hello guys, it's Casper here. I decided to make a quick video on uranium. As all of you know, or many of you know, Suri is, uh, should be coming online next week. And for you who doesn't know, that's a new vehicle that will be buying uh, physical uranium. Uh, I think they have around $100 million right now, which should be uh, uh, in which they should be able to buy physical uh, uranium. Very promising. I know many people are very bullish for, what, for what's to come this week. But I have that feeling, you know, when everyone is bullish, you know, usually the it doesn't happen as the as the herd, let's say, wants it to happen. So I think we could be in for a, a dull week, maybe. Um, but in the long term, obviously, that's uh, this uh, new vehicle coming online is very, very bullish. But I think we should have a look at the charts where we are right now, because the past two, three, tra uh, three trading days were actually insanely good for all the miners and URA, uh, but let's uh, let's check this the scoreboard. Where are we and what to expect um, for? I have like twenty charts or so. As always, follow me on Twitter. Highly appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe on YouTube if you like what I do. I want to get about that one thousand mark, so please help me uh, achieving that goal. Awesome. Let's look into it. As you can see, I have. Roughly 20, 25 charts we have to go through. Let's uh, let's see what uh, what we can find. All right, the big one URA uh, ETF. This is the weekly. We'll, but by the way, we will be looking at the weekly with a thirty weekly moving average, which is very um, very much used for the people that are investing long term. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, last week. A very big bullish candle here. Good volume coming in. Negating the bear flag in my view. Almost, almost. Uh, but also we have broken out of this. Oops, do that in white for you guys. We have broken this uh, long-term trend line. So this obviously very bullish. There's no way denying it. Um, will we get a pullback right away? We will see, but for now, URA looks 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 really good. There's no, deni no there's no denying that at all. URNM, you know the pure play uranium is lagging a bit here. Again, one big weekly candle. As you can see, volume is also good, and you can see we have taken out this these previously weeks uh, the range for the previous what is it two two three months more or less. Very bullish. We are above the thirty weekly. Also very bullish, um, and we have bounced off again this lower trend line here coming across. So, um, so I, um, still, it looks absolutely amazing, and I think we're just waiting for a breakout um, sometimes here in the near future. Obviously, oh, excuse me. Obviously, what you don't want to see is getting back into this range here, uh, because then the bears can start to to do their thing. But I think for now, it looks absolutely amazing. The Sprout Physical Uranium Trust is just overall insanely bullish. You can see the lower trend line here that has hold all the way up. We broke the red resistance coming down here, and we broke the double golden support here coming all the way across here, as you can see. Very bullish. And we're sitting right on top. So we broke out, and we did a short of time frame retest. So hopefully, we will continue upwards from here. But this looks absolutely, absolutely um, bullish. As long as we are above the red, it's very bullish. Preferred above the golden as well. Um, and also, again, you can see the volume coming in. I mean, overall, this is very bullish. There's no denying that at all. Um, so yeah, UEC, uh, Uranium Energy Corp. I know it's heavily shorted stock. Um, and we finally broke the... Um, the blue resistance here, it's it could be a very skewed inverted head and shoulders, but it's it's very uh yeah it's it's not perfect at all. But right now we are coming in for a big retest of this trend line here coming across. Um, so yeah, as long as we are above this cluster here or the blue the blue uh, neckline, very good volume, also decent. But as you can see here, we have. A red resistance, we have a 30 weekly, we have some longer term golden trend lines from here. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of resistance for this stock. And we need to 
before we can really go go bullish, we need to get uh, up in this area right here at 3.5, 3.67 ish. Then we are uh, uh, on the route to, to to higher highs in my view. But uh, but this candle, no denying, awesome, very good. I love it. I love it. Chemico. I only have one trend line on this one, bad boy right here. <laughs> Not much to add. The big blue chip, uranium miner, Cameco. One big weekly candle breaking out on massive volume, like 2x the the average. And um, yeah, what's not to like about this chart? Uh, excuse me, you can see it here. It's just, it's a, it's a massive breakout on a weekly. Let's go. I love it. Yellow cake, same thing. Uber bullish, uh, actually very, very, very bullish price uh, action here. Long-term trend, you can see, has been holding steadily all the way up. I mean, just look at every time we have touched it, more or less, we have bounced up, except we had a breakdown, went for the retest, and we broke back into the wedge and above. So we have had a false breakdown here. And as you know, a lot of these guys are shorting when we break the, the trend line here, which is uh, very fair because it's a very low-risk, high-reward uh, play. But maybe some of them haven't uh, been... Um, been covering their shorts yet. So this overall insanely bullish, insanely bullish. And yellow cake is also, uh, you know, a, an entity that is buying physical uranium. So overall, very bullish, very, very bullish. Next gen, also, uh, I know many people own next gen. We have a, a long-term blue support here. I should make it green. I don't know why it's blue. Let's make it green for you guys. So can you look like that? And, um, yeah, we did, we did get above these, the pivot low here. Um, obviously, very bullish. We still have some work to do. We have the the red resistance here. We are above the thirty weekly, which is always nice. Um, so yeah, again, next gen is lagging a bit here, but we uh, we are on the right track again. Good volume, and uh, nowhere near oversold or anything. So. It looks good, and also look, just look at the size of the of the candle here. It went from let's call it five to to six, so that's a one dollar move. Uh, I don't think we we have to go a long way back until we see that kind of move. So, so yeah, it's a, it, it could be the the beginning for uh, for a lot more upside, but obviously the re resistance will act will be resistance until until broken. Mega uranium. Mega, mega, mega uranium. I just I need one here. What's not to like? I mean, we have broken the long, uh, the longer uh, downtrending golden channel. We have broken out, but we, but as you can see, we we uh, were rejected at the thirty weekly moving average. So the play here uh, in the very short term must be to get above the thirty weekly and then uh, hopefully climb higher. Um, but we did break out and we are above, so that's all. That's all good. But we still have some work to do overall for this stock as well. Laramid resources, kind of similar to the mega uranium, have a false breakdown here, and now we're just trying to break out of the golden, coming all the way down here, and we have the thirty weekly moving down here. So still a lot of work to do for this miner before we can start to see some some, some pretty hefty gains. So we need to get above. The, into this zone right here, above uh, 0 0.44 something. Um, then I think we're good to go. But uh, but yeah, still a lot of, a lot of work to do for Laramid resources. Goviex, uh, a bit of a weird chart, but anyways, um, we have a squeeze coming down here for Goviex. It's some sort of an internal squeeze. You can draw a trend line down here as well. Um, but we did bounce off it on heavy volume. Um, so yeah, but this one is in a bigger downtrend than the previous that we have been looking at. And also you can see absolutely, in my view, it's insane. We are down, we were down to the levels where the initial bull run started for, for Goviax, as you can see here. So that's just an amazing buying opportunity. If you get this, these full reset of a bull run down to where we initially started, you have the squeeze here. That's very often where you see a bounce. Uh, so yeah, this is no different. So Goviex, uh, one of the weak ones, but I think it got hit heavily with the uh, African news a week or two uh, ago. So Global Atomic, 
global atomic. Uh, I have no lines on this one. <gasps> Anyways, you can quickly add them in here. You can quickly add them in here. I'm trying. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible, only with one or two lines, just to to see the overall, the overall uh, price action, for um, for each individual stock. Because otherwise, I have many lines on and so on. So that's just confusing for most people, uh, even myself sometimes. So. <laughs> But again, to me, it looks like we have a false breakdown here. Look at the candle size, the volume for the uh, for the weekly candle. Um, absolutely amazing. And and uh, this weekly goal should be to get above, let's call it three. We need to get above three because then we have taken out this whole cluster of, of weekly uh, sideways uh, range for since going back two months or so. So getting above three and then ultimately the 30 and the upper trend line. That's the goal. But still, this one has a lot of uh, work to do uh, before we can say, ah, we are bullish. Um, so baby steps, baby steps. Similar to the find base load, uh, one of my favorite uh, high risk, uh, uh, high reward plays, I would say. Uh, we are just squeezing basically uh, all the way down here. Massive volume compared to the past two months. We have, uh, what is it? It's like seven X more volume coming in. Uh, lovely green candle, but still, everything is in, is in a downtrend. The, the 30 weekly moving down. We are below the dotted golden trend line and the upper golden trend line coming down. So, so right now there is nothing. Um, yeah, again, still has a lot of work to do before we can say this is go time. But I think you know if the the blue chips like Cameco can can keep the breakouts and so on and keep grinding higher, these will follow, no doubt, no doubt about it. Fission uranium. Also on the weaker side, we lost this. We lost the golden trend line coming up here. As you can see, we have broken down, came into the double bottom here, and now we are holding. And the goal for me this week, if I had to set a goal, is to get above, <clears throat> is to get above these, you know, this entire range here getting above into this zone here, uh, if we can. But as you can see, we still have a lot of ground to cover. We have to get to the back testing. We have the 30 weekly coming down. And yeah, it's still it's still a mess, but it, it could be one big false breakout to the downside, uh, to the upside, sorry, if we can uh, get some momentum going. But still, this one has a lot of work to do. And then we have this bad boy right here, the uh, Encore Energy, uh, one of which people like very much. So, and I can gladly say, you know, that we have broken out of the falling uh, of the upper trend line here. So that's very, very bullish. Um, I would like to get uh, above. You can see here we have a you have a, um, a high here at around three point something. There it is, three point two five. I think that's, in my view, the the goal to to for this week is to get get to 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 get above that level and stay there. Um, then, to me, we have confirmed the breakout. Um, so yeah, this one is one of the better ones, looking quite nice actually. Um, so yeah, energy fuels. One of uh, it, it's in it's it's in the middle of uh, of the pack if you can if you can call it that. You can see we have the golden trade line coming across here. The fourth touch held. And now we're just uh, rallying higher, still into uh, resistance here at oops, excuse me guys, at the upper resistance coming down. And then we did take out the thirty weekly, uh, thirty uh, weekly uh, moving average, which is nice. But we still need to get above the gold, the golden trend line, and then we have some sort of of a line here as well, connecting the lows, which was the breakdown here. So this one will also be tested, tested at some point. But I think if we take out this pivot high here at around nine, then this one doesn't matter in, in my view. Um, so yeah, you can take it uh, take it as it is. Um, yeah, so this one still needs uh, some level to, to come through before we can become very bullish on energy fuels. Denison Mines, also a highly favorite uh, stock for many people. Uh, a false breakout to the upside, as you can see, broke down from this previous high here. And now we are still in a bear flag. We have to remember that we are still in a bear flag. And um, 
And uh, on the positive side, we'd have broken out from the golden. Um, right here, as you can see, one big weekly candle, volume good. Uh, but we were rejected at the 30 weekly moving average, also the upper upper range of the bear flag. So this weekly goal should be to negate the bear flag to get above here in this zone right here. Uh, that should be the goal to break to, to negate the bear flag, getting some more distance to the 30 weekly, and then it will be game on for this one here. So what are what, what's the uh, the number we need to get above? I would say like 1.65 ish, 1.62 maybe in that range we need to get above, and and stay there. Can Alaska also a stock that needs that needs to do a lot of uh, a lot of work before we can um, call it bullish. Uh, these two right here to me are very similar. We have the very sharp downtrend broken sideways action, then we we pop higher. Also, we have bounce again on the lower golden trend line. So the weekly goal should be to get above this red line here coming across. Uh, so getting getting above 0 0.36, 0 0.7 in that range, and then that's the weekly goal, I guess. So this one is is not uh, not bullish at all right now. It needs to show that it wants to be bullish. Bannerman, one big squeeze. I love it. I love these squeezes here, getting a big rejection of the gold, lower golden trend line here. Lots of volume coming in. And we have two major resistance coming up, the 30. And again, as you know, the upper golden trend line here. So big resistance coming up very soon. But if, if we can break that at around 1.6, 1 seven then it's go time it is go time elevate similar to the to, to the to the bandman one big squeeze we are close to we are a lot close to the breakout good volume it's uh, it's just uh, in, in my view uh, a when not if we will break to the upside here still have some some 30 weekly that we need to, to take care of but this is a this is a big squeeze and you know we are very close to the apex this is the F3 Uranium Corp. I'm gonna zoom out a bit longer here just to give you a bigger view. One long golden trend line, one big downtrend, which was broken at the end of last year. And now we have just been in a big squeeze ever since. Very bullish price action, very, very bullish price action. And um, this is what you want to see. So uh, at some point, maybe not this week, but next week or whatever, we're gonna break out. No doubt about it in my view. This is absolutely, textbook breakout you know retest into a into a bullish formation i love it very good glo global atomic i have one line here that i want to focus on we broke down from the trend line similar to what we've seen on on some of the other charts broken down still went into a range and now we have made one heck of a candle you know a false breakdown all the way up to the to more or less three big volume coming in compared to the previous weeks. And the weekly goal should be to get above three, in my view, and stay there. Uh, so a weekly close above three um, is what I would like to prefer to see. Also, we have the third weekly coming down here, as you can see, um, which also will be resistance. And then we have then we have some sort of a, yeah, upper red resistance that will be come in play at some point. But now we need to work on this. But it looks good. I mean, this is one big weekly reversal and I think it will be confirmed if we get above three more or less. Lightbridge, uh, no, let's don't look at Lightbridge. Let's look at Paladin Energy. St stunning chart in my view. You can see the volume here past week was, let's call it five or six times more than the previous uh, weeks uh, looking back. Also, we we broke the, the bear flag here, the internal bear flag, all the way down to the green support zone, as you can see all the way across here. We didn't get all the way down to the lower band or the lower trend line, which I actually would have been preferred because that would have been absolutely amazing. But we have retraced all the way back into the bear flag. Just look at this one, one big long tail to the downside and then, then shoop, all the way back up. So this is a major weekly reversal. We're still in the bear flag. We're still in the consolidation. So we need to, to grind higher. And the big one is breaking, obviously, the upper gold trend line coming down all the way here. So at around 0 0.82, 0 0.8-ish in that, in that area. But the previous weekly candle 
very, very good for a reversal. So let's see what happens. Last but not least, a very uh, strange chart to look at, but it, it is the new scale power, power corporation SMR. We have been squeezing ever since we actually made the big upswing here. It, it has just been one big downward um, um, squeeze. And, you know, we are getting into the apex, so I expect a big move to the upside here. And then maybe we will do something like that, right? Um, so I think we will do that at some point. Oops, excuse me. But the downtrend is it's, um, it's still, you know, very... There, there's a lot of downward pressure here. Uh, no doubt about it. So that's what I had planned for today. Um, please let me know in the comments below what do you think will happen next week. I think we'll get a mixture. I don't think we'll have a as a big of a week as we had last week. Mainly because most people are bullish. I will happily be wrong on this one <laughs> and that we just blast through. But I think there are so many people waiting for big moves this week that I think we will see the opposite. Not big drops, but just a big nothing, uh, which would be also fine given that we've had you know, such a great week last week. But let's see. Please give me the comments below in the comment section and then we will see who is right. And uh, I hope you have a, have a great week. And hopefully Uranium will do very well. But uh, we have to see what the charts will give us. Have an awesome day, guys. And uh, sleep tight.